Okay, quick video on power. Not a lot to say about power. So we've got uh, our power formulas. There, I current times voltage or current current squared times resistance or V squared over R. So power measured in watts usually results in uh, components heating up. And we might not be able to, to be able to feel that heating up, but obviously as the current's rushing through the components, it's heating up, which is then uh, which is some energy wasted because we've got some energy conversion going on. Okay, let's start off with a question. Okay, so let's start off with the standard formula. Power is equal to uh, I squared R. So we know that we've got uh, 2 watts is equal to I squared times by our 500 ohm resistor. So therefore we can do a little bit of a rearranging. Okay, a bit of rearranging and then we end up with our current is equal to 63.24 uh, times by 10 to the minus 3 amps or as we could actually write it 63.24 milliamps okay let's look at the second question so we've got uh, an electrical system generating 5 megawatts of power uh, to power cables that are carrying 500 uh, amps of current. So what we want to do is I just need to start with what is the current sorry what is the voltage being generated? So just inserting the numbers into power is equal to current times voltage. We've got that. Uh, so then we can then do a little bit of a rearrangement. So that we've got five megawatts divided by five hundred amps equals our voltage which then ends up being ten kilovolts. Okay so let's look a little bit about it about power and efficiency then. So efficiency is power out divided by power in times by 100. So it is usually represented by a percentage on your formula sheet. It's just got power out divided by power in, but it is a normal representative of percentage. So we're going to put the times by 100 in. Okay, let's have a look at a question. So if we carry on our, our last question uh, from the, the power station, and we say that the, the cables uh, that we've got 500 amps on, I've got a resistance of 2 ohms, and we want to know what is going to be the power loss uh, through heating of the cables through that 500 amps going down the, down the, down the cables. Okay. So we know what the current is, 500 amps. We know what the resistance is, so we can work out the power power that way. So 500 squared times 2 ohms gives it gives us 500 kilowatts. So that's our power lost. Okay. On the cables. So let's look at what the efficiency is going to be. So our efficiency then power out divided by power in. So to get again our power out, we've got to take the, the, the power that's being generated in the first place minus the loss that we've got on, on the cable. So that will give us what our power out is going to be. Uh, and then the power in is what we're generating in the first place. So our output, our power output is the what we're generating minus the loss in the cables uh, and if we bung all that into a calculator then we should get ourselves so we've got efficiency of 90% so not too bad really 